Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Hello, hello, my loves. This is going to be your July 2021 Terrascope. Aquarius, I don't know. Am I losing weight? Maybe it's the pink. I don't know. I digress. I know y'all probably thinking, what the hell? What does this have to do with our Terrascope? I think I've been working out, and maybe it's wishful thinking, Aquarius, but I think my face is getting, <laughs> is getting smaller. <laughs> And I saw it on your video. So I digress. Let's get into it. Aquarius, the first thing that I really pick up strongly is a lot of travel coming in. Now, you could be in the travel industry. You could be a pilot, flight attendant, truck driver, a cruise ship uh, captain, Uber, Lyft, whatever it is. I feel like there's a lot of back and forth. For some of you, you could even live a distance away from things um, where you have to travel out. So this may be a lot of back and forth, whether this is on the road, across the water, or in the air. I will say, though, I get the warning that Spirit is saying you need travel grace, which means that there could be some obstacles. Now, we're coming out of Mercury retrograde, but we got a lot of planets, I feel like, that are retrograding this year. So there may be some things with tickets. There could be some delays. Some of you may be having car issues. I will say, say your prayers. When you get in the car, you know, dear Lord, whatever deity that you work with, get me from point A to point B with minimum issues. If you um, have a protection sachet or something, a mojo that you carry, normally I'll put one in my bra or I'll keep it in my purse. Definitely go ahead and do that because I feel like whatever little ump that you can give yourself will help you with travel. Like I say, not, not to scare you or anything like that, but I definitely feel like there's some issues, Aquarius. Let me pull myself together. There's some issues that may be coming in. And this could just be delays or miscommunication. Now, um, I feel for some that if this is travel, there's opportunities for stability or money, which means that you could be relocating or you could be going somewhere because there is a money opportunity that is coming in. And you're like, okay, let me go ahead and take it. I feel that there's some growth that's coming in, whether this is teaching classes or actually traveling somewhere to learn. Um there's a, something with education that brings in more money for you. Definitely, it either opens up a different phase for you in your life where it's like, okay, I can do this and get certified and charged for this, or I'm going to teach this to other people, or this knowledge is going to help me move up in the corporate world or whatever. I do feel like there's jobs that are coming in because I feel like some of you are settling for things that are really beneath you. Um, and maybe you even feel this way. Spirit is showing that a lot of you are not using your skill set um, in a way to actually elevate yourself, which means that, you know, we've all done it. You know, we've all taken jobs where it's like, okay, you know what? I got to make money. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I remember when I first got divorced, I got a job that I was, um, stocking. And if you've ever stocked, you stocked at night when the, when the store was closed. So I would get in there and open up boxes. And why, why, you know, other people had big vases, flower plants, cause it was a home, um, decorating store they gave me little like dolphins about this size a whole box full of little dolphins and you have to put them on the shelf in order it drove me fucking crazy but i had two kids to feed so i was like you know what i'm gonna put the goddamn dolphins on there and make them look pretty but it was one of those jobs where it was like i had to crawl before i walk i had to walk before i run so for some of you you could be feeling that way like why am i doing this why am I? This is not even me. This is a waste of my my skill set. Don't worry about it because I feel like spirit is going to open up a door for you that brings you to where you need to be. For some of you, you got to make sure too that you don't get complacent with the stocking job. Like, oh, okay, you know, I can do this because it works for me. I can sleep when I want to sleep or whatever. You may be, and I feel like spirit is going to push you. They're going to show you some things about employment or a job where you're like, okay, you know what? I get it. I get it. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be doing this because pay attention to red flags. Whenever spirit makes it unbearable at a place that you work or a job or even in a business that you may even own or could be trying to work at, it's because it's not it's not right for you at that time. So pay attention to that Aquarius. I do feel like there's a new job coming in where there's going to be a signing of some type of contract. Now, for some of you, I feel like this may have some longevity to it. 
You may be saying, okay, I'm going to sign this contract and I'm going to work here three years, four years, five years. It could even be a project. Some of you might be relocating to go work on this project. Spirit is saying, make sure that you understand and you agree with contracts before you sign them. Um, some of you may be um, obligating yourself to something for a long term where you're not going to be making money or you may get stuck and there's another job that comes open and you can't get out of it. This could be with government contracts and things like that. Um, so be careful that you don't sign something and obligate yourself to a certain number of years um, before you can switch out. That happened with me with the electricity company. This girl came in here and did the switch and bait or whatever, told me I had a year to try out the service and then be done with it and switch. So electricity is high as hell on this particular plan. Well, when I go back and look at the actual contract, I signed up for five years because I didn't look. I didn't pay attention. So be careful with that because I feel like there's an energy that's coming through. Some of you definitely are dealing with a with depression. Now, I'm getting fire energy too. So this could even be Leo Aries Aquarius. You might have somebody who's going through some things. You and this person might be going through some things. I feel like it's something like almost contagious. If this is a family member and you're an empath, you could be picking up their energy. Um, some of you, you, you're very sensitive to the energies around you. And this person is literally kind of, you know, dragging themselves. If they're not a fire sign, they have fire energy, which means that this person may be feisty. They may, you know, have a lot of um, bite to them or spiciness to them. But I feel for some of you, if you are dealing with a fire sign, check on your friend, check on your spouse, because they're going through some things. This is, I feel like chronic depression with this person is basically they struggled with this all their lives. Now, air signs tend to deal with depression too in a chronic capacity. And really, if you partner up or mate with somebody who is depressed and you know that you had your issues with depression, it could trigger you. So I will say, if this is the case, some of you may be needing to look into therapy. You may be needing to look into medication. If this is a partner or a child or a family member, you may need to look into getting them some type of help too, because I feel like that this is not going to be something that these, the person comes out of. I get healing on you, Aquarius, but I'm feeling like if you're dealing with a fire energy or a fire sign person, this is something that's going to, it's going to drag out with them for a while addictions are a part of the issue and this may not be on them could be on you but i'm definitely getting some type of uh obsession or addiction now of course we all have some issue that we deal with <clears throat> mine is sugar for some this could be sex this could be um drinking this could be you know smoking a little herb eating too many edibles um a workaholic um, there's so many different ways that, you know, you can be addicted to something that it overtakes your life. So if this is not you, you could be dealing with somebody that is having some type of issue with addiction. Now, for some reason, something white just flashed in, could be cocaine. If you're dealing with somebody that is doing this, they may not be telling you this. They may be erratic. Um, if you know that this is the issue with the person, you're dealing with somebody that I feel like is very, um, I, I don't feel like this is something that's passing <clears throat> for them. And because I'm losing my voice, some of you already know, but you can't talk to this person about their addictions because you don't want the, <clears throat> excuse me, conflict of it. So I do feel that there may be something, if you're dealing with somebody who has some type of drug addiction, you may be a little bit afraid to come, what do you call it? Um, is it intervention? Or um, what do you call it, Jazz, when you talk to somebody and you don't want to talk to somebody? Confront. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. So I will say um, this may be affecting their job or their relationship. Now, if this is you, this could be affecting your job or your relationship. You may be dealing with this energy where you have to go ahead and, like I say, get some type of help. Um, if this is food addiction, I'm getting emotional eating, like somebody that's just trying to eat things because they're trying to self-medicate. So, I mean, and that could be any of us, especially after this pandemic. I mean, my God, I gained, I think they said the pandemic 20. I think I gained the pandemic 30. So for some, you could be dealing with food addictions too. Goodness, Aquarius. Spirit is saying that you have to look at things closely. Stop overlooking things. There's problems, there's issues, and some of you are glossing over it. 
This could be with work. This could be with family. This could be with a relationship. Spirit is like, you have to see things clearly. Some of you, you don't want to see the ugliness of a situation. And I completely get it because there may be something that you have to do within that situation that you don't want to. So I do feel like if you're dealing with someone, and I mean, this is a general read, <clears throat> somebody, there's definitely something going on with communication. Some of y'all are not speaking up and saying what you have to say. You're, you're giving away your power or something because I keep feeling like something is stuck in my throat. If this is not you, you're dealing with somebody who cannot communicate. You're dealing with somebody who cannot speak. So this may be somebody who's not telling you things. They're not, they're not talking to you, whether this is them intentionally ghosting you or this person is really just kind of shutting down because they don't know what to say. If this is you, this could be you not wanting to say something and confront someone because you don't want the conflict of the situation. It kind of goes back to that. You cannot not see a problem, Aquarius. If you have to deal with it, you have to deal with it. Because if you don't deal with it now, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass later. Ooh, Aquarius. Last time it was the, air, the Libras that they spirit kind of got on about all this stuff. I don't necessarily feel like it's negative. But for some of you, I get the issue of not wanting to deal with or see a problem for what it really is. And that may be something that is going to be hard. You know, that may be something that you got to work through. Definitely jobs coming in. Definitely school coming in. Some of you, I feel like there may even be surprise pregnancies. So if you're trying to get pregnant, congratulations. If you're not, you know what to do and what not to do. Um, I also feel, too, that there is something, if this is not pregnancy, if you're a male, this is new beginnings. This could be new beginnings with a business, new beginnings in education, learning something new. But I'm definitely getting something that comes in with a new beginning or a new start. There's also a move that's coming in. And some of you, this move may be a little bit uncomfortable. I feel like somebody who's like, okay, I got to pack up and I got to go. So this may be, I don't want to say eviction, but I feel like that there may be something that pushes you where you got to leave now. And I feel that there's an opening. You're waiting for a job or you're waiting for money. I feel like Spirit is saying they're waiting for their money to get right so that they can move forward. So for some of you, this definitely is trying to get a new job, trying to get a loan so that you can get a new place. For a few of you, this could be even trying to get a loan or something so you can upgrade. But I feel like there's something where time is of the essence. So there may be you wake up that morning and somebody's saying, okay, the pipe is burst in the house. You got to go. You got to go get in a hotel. We got to fix it. Or you may have an argument with a roommate or a spouse and you're like, okay, I got to go. I got to go get a hotel room. Make sure you put some money to the side, Aquarius, because I feel like there's something that's going to come in really fast that you have to deal with. So for some of you, be prepared for it. All right, let's get into the cards. Two of Blades. Two of Blades, there's a problem. Your eyes are closed. You don't want to see it. For some of you, this could be financial. I can't pay my bills. I don't have the money there. I don't want to deal with my bills, but there's definitely something that you don't want to see that you don't want to deal with. It's not going to make it go away. Six of Cups, this could be somebody from the past. This could be a reconciliation. Maybe some of you are having an issue with a reconciliation. The Magician, this could be somebody who's being shady. He's cute as fuck, though. Every time I see this card, I'm like, damn, I would date him. He's cute as fuck. He's a magic man. Now, normally the Magician doesn't have to be a negative person. This could even represent some of you. You may practice, but this is somebody that has something up their sleeve. They could be plotting or something. Oh, but it's a fire sign. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. They might be a little shady, but they're plotting. So and maybe for some of you, you reconciled with this person. You don't want to see the problem. This person could be even worried about money. There's some type of issue that's coming in. For some of you, if this is not a fire sign, you could be dealing with somebody who's really worried about money. But I feel like if it's not them, it's you. Now, we got eight up coins. This is going back to school, mentorship, learning something new. Some of you, a person is going to take you under their wings. They're going to share some knowledge with you. For a few of you, this is you um, doing this to somebody else. Maybe this is how you're going to bring some money in, teaching something. This could be teaching in any capacity, teaching in um, elementary or education. This could be art. This could be uh, woodworking. This could be spiritual. This is sharing knowledge, but it looks like for a few of you, this is a connection of making some money. So there may be a job offer that's coming in where you're learning a skill or there's a skill set that you have and you're going to use it to teach some money. 
Seven of Coins. This is somebody who could be all over the place, though. I could do this. I could do that. This is sometimes a lack of focus or feeling like I have too many things on my mind that I can do a little bit of everything. Some of you with this card, too, I love this because it's showing a person who actually is making changes. They have a lot of options. This person on here, when you look, they're getting a tattoo. This person has purple hair. This could be even something to do with makeup because of the different colors. Some of you may be finding that you're changing your look. You're doing something out of the ordinary. You got all these options and it's like, I want something different because we got a lot of colorful things that are coming in. And maybe for some of you, you're actually learning how to tattoo. You're learning something with art. You're learning something with creativity or you're doing, you're, you're doing something that opens up this, this energy for you, Aquarius. Let's see. Five of coins. There's some money that's trickling in, but I feel like for some of you, this could be a side hustle. You could be learning how to do something and like I say, make money off of it. The lover's card. Let's see. There may be a decision that's coming in. What is it about? The empress. Some of you, there could be something that's going on with parents. We have older parents here. Normally for the lover's card, to me, this is somebody that is needing to make a decision. Now, this definitely could be a relationship. Some of you with the Empress card, this is a pregnancy that is coming in. Some of you are maybe deciding that, okay, I'm ready to have a baby. Or if this is something that comes in as a surprise, it's like, you know what? It's time for me to make a decision. Do I want to go ahead and go through with this? And I feel like for a lot of you, you're welcoming a new family member in. This is a woman, too, that is dealing with children. She's making a decision about children. Um, for some of you, this could be, do I want to have children? Do I want to work with children? Um, it's, it, it could be, um, even for, if you're a male, you may be going through this thing. Are you bringing new kids into the world? Um, are you working with children? There could be some decision that needs to come in with an empress, but I feel like with the, the Knight of wands, this is somebody who's about to go on an adventure. They're starting something up. Maybe this is motherhood for some of you. If it's not, and you're a male, this is giving birth to something that is going to be really exciting for you. You're happy about it. It's a new beginning, even for a woman. If you're not trying to have a baby, this is a new beginning. This is fire energy. I'm excited. Now, for some, if you're dealing with a fire sign person, this person could be telling you, look, you know, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm going to have a baby. Or I got somebody pregnant. Well, I hope that is not the case for any of you. For some, this could even be a woman that is going through the change. For some reason, I feel like there's a new phase of life that's coming. So some of you might be dealing with somebody that is actually going through some type of menopause or some type of change. For the majority, though, I feel like this is a pregnancy, news of either a new beginning or a pregnancy. The victory card is on a fire energy. So you could be dealing with somebody who's getting a new job. They could be adopting a baby. They could be having a baby. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. But it looks like that somebody is happy because there's a new phase of life that could possibly be happening for them. Let's see. Oh, it's a job. Ace of coins. Now, if this is not dealing with a fire energy, this is you guys. This is like something that comes in really quick, giving birth to a new job or a new job opportunity. Let me get the cards right. And there's excitement. So if you've been settling and you were like me stocking those damn dolphins or whatever and waiting and praying for a better job to come in, it looks like there's going to be some good energy that comes in for a job. For some of you, it may be creative. You may have more than one offer that is coming in, but definitely a new beginning that is coming in. And for some, it's you're excited about it. You may have had family and friends or people that supported this. They may have even told you about it. But it is definitely going to be something that opens up. Now, we have Ace of Cups. Ace of Coins, I'm sorry. But we have the Eight of Cups around it. So some of you are walking away from a job. And I wonder where, let's see. Oh, the Fool card. Taking a leap of faith. So you could be walking away from something that you settled for. And it's not working for you. There's definitely some issue with depression. There could have been a job that you applied for that didn't come through, but there's another opportunity. The full card is taking a leap of faith. And it is showing that you got money or you got a new job that's coming in Aquarius. Let's see, we got Queen of Wands, your energy. What is she upset about? New beginnings. Or working with a team. Good, Aquarius. So some of you definitely, you have a good job that's coming in. There may have been more than one offer. 
A few of you may have lost a job and it's like, damn it, don't worry about it. Because if you got something that fell through, it looks like you got another job that's going to open up. And it actually is something that you may find yourself passionate about. You could be working with a team of people or a group of people. And it looks like that it's, it's bringing in some type of energy of money, pinnacles. So your hard work will pay off. Let's get into the beginning though. So some of you with the two of blades and the six of cups, we got somebody that's reminiscing about the past. You know, back in the days when we used to be together, when this used to happen, I have this memory, um, but there's problems. Maybe you're not seeing things clearly. If you're letting somebody from the past come back in, this person actually with the magician card may not be who you think they are, Aquarius. Some of you, if this is a friendship, a co-worker, somebody that reaches back out to you, we're still in the Mercury energy. This could be past Fulios or Fuliettes. You know, come on, give me another chance. Let's work it out. But there's a problem with this person and some of you are closing your eyes. You don't want to see it. The magician is cute. He's cute, but he's shady as fuck in this picture. He's shady as fuck in this picture. Some of you, this could be a fire sign. Leo Aries Sagittarius. His cute self might be a little spicy. But this may be something that you're not seeing. He's burying something. Maybe he's putting you in a jar. I don't know. He could be trying to uh, dominate you or manipulate you. Or um, maybe this is just even an energy of somebody that is just very... Um, magical they have uh some type of you know um gifts or talents so some of you could be with a person that has this if not this could even be you i do feel like there's a lot of spiritual growth but spirit is kind of saying you're not listening you're not listening aquarius so you might need to go ahead cleanse go back under the moonlight maybe if you are hooking up with a magician this could be somebody that you're trying to learn from but i do feel like there's a problem if there's somebody from the past take your time Take your time going back to that energy, friendship, co-worker, lover, whatever, because there's still a problem that you don't want to see. It has not been fixed. Now, we have moving forward. We have the Queen of Pentacles, and this, I feel, is your energy. This is somebody who's focused on their money. How can I make money? How can I bring in more revenue? And it may not even be anything with working outside of the parameters you already said. If you have a nine to five, you could be working really hard in that situation, bringing in some, some good money. But it's almost like, what other projects can I work on? What other things can I do to elevate my financial status? Some of you just could even be starting your own business. For a few of you, if you have some land or property, you may even start growing vegetables and maybe do some type of farmer's market um, on your land. I know my gardens have been, I cooked, what was it the other day with the vegetables that I pulled out of my garden? So freaking satisfying to, to eat something that you actually grew and know that you can self-sustain with that. Some of you, you might be feeling that. Whatever it is, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. But I do feel that some of you, this is your energy. I'm focused on my money. I'm focused on what I need to do. Some of you are choosing to go back to school so that you can bring in more financial gain. I want to learn something. This is going to open up doors for me. This is going to, maybe this is a certification. Maybe this is, you know, completing a four-year degree. Maybe this is a business class. Some of you might be learning how to do woodwork or how to build carpentry. Whatever it is, this is mentorship. So you could be taking, somebody could be taking you under your under their wings and mentoring you and teaching you. But for some of you, be open to teaching jobs. You may already do this. This may be preparing you to go back to school in August if you are a teacher. But it is showing that you have more than one option that's coming in Aquarius. So if you, you could be multi-talented. I can teach you how to do this. I can teach you how to do that. Or you may actually be getting certified in a lot of different things. The crazy thing is um, I change careers every 10 years. Um, I mean, I was a hairstylist for a while. I was a bridal a wedding planner. Um, I had a cake decorating business. I sold tuxedos. I had a flower shop. Then I decided to go into massage. Then I became an esthetician. And now I'm a tarot reader and I still have all those skill sets under my belt. So for some of you, you might be multifaceted or multi-talented where you really are, you know, um, set to make money in different things. The problem is they'll prioritize. Some people are trying to, I want to say, are all over the place. 
if you are going to be um, dealing with multiple gifts or talents, then you have to know when when to apply and when to pull back. When to apply and when to pull back. You can't do everything at once. Um, but I do feel like there's some creativity that is coming in for you guys. Where it's like, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to come on and, and, and try a little bit of this or whatever. And you may be missing the mark with business, especially if you're self-employed. You may be too scattered. You're trying to do too much and you need to really sit down and focus and develop. I feel like there's something that's coming in with starting something, but there's no follow through. It, it's almost like you, the excitement is like, oh, da, 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 da. and then I'm going to do that. And then there's no completion. So be really careful with that Aquarius that you're not falling into some type of cycle because we all air signs do that. Libra, Gemini's, Aquarius, they all get excited about the project. And then at the end of the month, it's like, okay, I started three other projects within this month, but I did not complete that other pro the first project that I started. Be really careful that you do not do that because it can affect your money. Five of coins is literally showing that you have money coming in, but you could get more because we got six of coins, seven of coins, eight of coins, nine of coins, and then that coveted 10 of pentacles, 10 of coins. So five of coins, if you're settling for a little bit of money coming in, you're doing yourself an in-service or disservice, Aquarius. Because you have the potential for more money. Queen of Pentacles is an energy that is coming in with you, which means that you have the ability to make more financial gain, but you have to prioritize. Whether this is working for corporate America, starting your own business, or hustling, you have the potential to make more money. So don't settle for something. Complete your projects. Complete whatever your plans are. Prioritize and stay focused on it. You're going to do really well with that. A lot of you, I feel like there could be some emotional things that could be coming in. This may be decisions about love and pregnancy. Could be distracting you. I don't feel for the majority of you. Um, for the first, the with the first card, if this is a love situation and you're dealing with um, energies of confusion, it could be that you just don't want to see it. Spirit is like things are really clear, but maybe some of you may be confused about relationships. Now, I do feel like there's some depression that's going in. That could cloud your mind. We do feel like the addiction is there. That could cloud your mind. If you're dealing with you being addicted to something and depressive, depressive or depression, that could be an issue. If you're dealing with somebody who is depressed and dealing with addictions, that could be an issue that will completely fuck you up and have you discombobulated where you can't focus on things that you need to. You know, sometimes relationships and emotions do that to us. If you are in this energy, you may have to get back on track with this. Now, for some of you, there may be a decision. You could be at a point in your life, do I want to have children? Do I want to continue with a relationship? Um, is this going to be, I feel like some of you want a family. The lovers, and then we got the Empress cards. Whether you are male or female, some of you want a solid family. Some of you are like, I'm growing old with this person. I'm going to have grandkids. But there may be some decisions about how you're going to do it. There definitely, there even may be a decision about moving forward with a love interest or having to caretake your parents. We got a parents and white dog, and in the background, we got a woman kissing a man. Some of you may be walking away from um, some type of obligation. Um, maybe you caretake somebody, or it could be affecting your love life. Some of you, there may be a decision between animals and love. I don't know how that could be because I think that you, if you're going to get involved with somebody, that they should be cool with your animals. But for some of you, there may be an issue because we have animals in both cards. Decisions on either a love connection or something to do with animals. I guess it is possible that you could either date somebody or be with somebody that doesn't want the animals and that may be something that you have to deal with. Or if you're trying to have a baby, there may be even an issue with wanting to keep animals in um, your life. Hmm. Worst case scenario, some of you may walk away from an animal because of a relationship. I hope not, but it, it could happen. It could happen. There may be some allergies or some issues that are coming in, or there may even be a safety concern if you are bringing a baby in. Now, if you are not trying to get pregnant, if you're not dealing with children, because I feel like there's decisions that may have to deal with children, this could be new beginnings. Normally with the Empress, she's given birth. We got a heart on her head. This could be a new idea. This could be a new passion in life. 
And with the Knight of Wands, we're definitely getting some energy that is like, okay, go, 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 go. For some of you, you could be dealing with a fire sign person that is nonstop. Um, and maybe that may be a thing too. Do I want to have a child because I don't have the time or the energy or my partner is too busy? Or do I want to start this new business because my partner has a lot on their plate? Maybe they won't you know, be able to help me. Maybe this will be too overwhelming for them. Maybe you have somebody, I'm getting somebody, there's opposite energies. And it kind of goes back to coke, the cocaine. I, I've never tried it before, but I was looking at a movie the other night and this woman snorted some cocaine and then her, the, they were showing the, 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 what is it, synapses of her brain where she, everything was firing up and she was, I mean, she was going a mile a minute. She was kicking everybody's ass, shooting people. Blood was all over the place. And I mean, it was, it was like, I'm looking at it and it was overwhelming. And it was because she had that rush. So it's interesting because some of you could be dealing with somebody that kind of goes up and down with this energy, you guys. I don't know who this applies to. It could be the, to one particular person, one particular person. Interesting. I don't want to go too deep into it. I really don't. I don't because sometimes when you start talking about drug use and things, people get a, a little bit iffy. They take it personal. <laughs> like, why did you do that? Why did you talk? Why did you put me out like that? And I was like, nobody knew. Nobody knew until you commented. So don't comment. If you saw the movie though, and I can't remember the name of the movie, but I digress. Lord, here I am. And I swear to God, it's not Coke Yard, it's caffeine. Because I know I'm the, 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 I feel like I'm a mile a minute. Caffeine is my drug. All right. Definitely a new job. I know y'all gonna look at this video and like be like, Tanya, what the fuck? I am trying, Aquarius. <laughs> I'm trying. All right. We definitely got a new job opportunity coming in. And for some of you, you've been waiting for this opportunity. Like, yes, they finally called me. So I do feel that there's gonna be something that opens up for you. And it looks like with victory, it's something that you've been waiting for. If you've been waiting for a promotion, it looks like good news is coming in. If you're waiting for a job opportunity, it looks like that it is coming in. I will say crossing the finish line for some of you, there is a win-win. If you're dealing with a fire sign that is trying to get another job or get a promotion, it looks like that they could be crossing the victory line. For some of you, you're definitely dealing with fire energy, whether this is their sign or it's somewhere in their planets. There's definitely some good news coming in about financial gain. And if you're getting a new job, congratulations. Now, some of you may find yourself walking away from a situation um, and taking a leap of faith because it looks like you're putting your foot down. This could be a job. You know, thank you for having me here. I love stocking, you know, those little dolphins, but I got another job. I'm out. Peace out. I'm walking away. I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm finding my confidence because this queen of blades, whether you're a male or female, she literally is like, look, I'm done. I've had it. I'm putting my foot down. She even has the scapula to kind of draw it through. Um, you know, this person is like, I'm not playing. This could be somebody, I have a friend, Alvis, that does uh, throw knives and things like that. This could be somebody that is really focused on their craft and what they're doing. But she's holding the scapula like, don't try me. Do not try me. This is somebody who's putting their foot down. They're walking away from something and it could be a dead end job. It could be a dead end relationship. Um, there may be some things that are not working out and this may be a little bit of depression too. Uh, I don't want to have to walk away from it, but I have to walk away from it. The good thing Aquarius is whatever you're walking away from, the door is open. The moonlight is illuminating your path. There's stairs that are going to be taking you somewhere else. And this fool card is showing that you're ready to take this leap of faith. I'm ready. He's smiling. He may be scared because of course with the fool card, we don't know where we're going to land, but it's like, it's better than where I'm at. Eight of Cups is literally something not working out the way you wanted it to. And I'm going to walk away, take this leap of faith and keep it moving. Now, with the Page of Wands, there's excitement. You make the jump. If you're leaving a job to start a new job, you're making the jump and you're excited about it. There's a passion there. Look at his face. He's like, oh, hell yeah. If you're walking away from a relationship and you were scared to do it, it looks like there's a new opening that's coming in. If you were starting a new business and you're taking this leap of faith, is it going to work? The excitement is showing that you 100% are there. And then we have connecting with maybe like-minded people, working with a team, working with a group. So you're going to find your soul tribe or your family or your job or wherever you need to be. 
because you're walking away from something that no longer makes you happy, Aquarius. You have to let it go. If you have put energy into it, let me see. Let me get the card. Where is that two of blades? Because we started off with the two of blades. And this was not, I don't want to see it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to have to uh, focus on it. Where is she at? And then we have, at some point, deciding, okay, I see it now. Now I'm going to walk away from it. But I'm going to take this leap of faith. And it's going to put me in an energy where I'm excited. There's a fire energy that's coming in. You put your foot down about something. You saw what you needed to see. Let me get the cards right. All right. Two of blades. She saw what she needed to see. He saw what he needed to see. Put his foot down. Eight of cups. I'm done. I'm walking away. I'm starting something new. Business, relationship, movement. I do feel like there's a movement coming in or a move. Some of you, 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 you did, you put the energy in that you could, and now you're making a decision to put you first. Whatever, whatever it is, job, relationship, or whatever, I'm not, I cannot unsee it. I've seen it. I cannot unsee it. Now I have to put my foot down, take this leap of faith, move on, and do what I have to do. And the cards are showing you're going to land on your feet. You're going to land in a way where there is some confidence, where you, where you have your power, and you're going to move forward and make reconnections or connect with new people, new energy that possibly you could even make money with. So you're going to find your tribe, Aquarius. Don't be afraid. If you're hanging on that cliff and you're like, I don't want to jump. I don't want to let it out. Go ahead, let go. You're going to land on your feet. You are. You're a fire sign. You're an air sign. I'm sorry. You're an air sign. So the thing about it is, is that when you look at that, that point in a scapula, you're not playing when you make that jump. When you hit that ground, you're like, you're ready. There's something that, that comes in because you saw something you needed to see. It freed you from whatever situation you were in and you move forward. So Aquarius, you guys, I know I was a little bit all over the place. Coffee high, I promise you. And um, I, I hope that the, the message resonates. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day.